watching News 25. Local coverage you can count on. News 25 is brought to you by J.K. Nelson Law. Voted best of Pahrump for four years. Give them a call, 775-727-9900. News 25 is also brought to you by Gunny's Air Conditioning and Heating. New, service, and repair. Call Gunny's, 775-727-6800. Hello and welcome to this edition of News 25. I'm Yunette Gentry. Thanks for joining us on Ace Country Radio. And we're also streaming at kpvm.tv. We're also now on your Roku devices. It is Thursday, May 2nd. In our top story, the Nye County Sheriff's Office is requesting information regarding the whereabouts of a Pahrump resident. Benjamin J. Peck, 76 years old, was last seen approximately three weeks ago driving a 2002 Toyota Sienna with Nevada license plate 257Y31, and that car is whitish in color. Beck is described as being five feet tall, 156 pounds with hazel eyes and gray hair. If you have any information about Benjamin Peck, you are urged to contact the Nye County Sheriff's Office at 775-751-7000 and choose option five. In other area news, a man accused of kidnapping a Pennsylvania resident and bringing her here to Nevada is now found guilty. RJ Camacho reports. A man who was accused of kidnapping a woman and leaving her body in the Nevada desert approximately five years ago has been found guilty. John Matthew Chapman was convicted of kidnapping, which resulted in the death of Jamie Feeden back in 2019. According to authorities, back in November of 2019, Bethel Park Police in Pennsylvania were conducting a welfare check for Feeden at the request of a friend. However, neighbors told police they hadn't seen her in two months. However, they did mention a man, later identified as Chapman, that they believed to be her boyfriend entering and leaving her home. Officers located the ID cards of Chapman, a photograph, Feeden's cell phone, multiple zip ties, and a roll of duct tape within the residence. Chapman was promptly arrested and allegedly admitted to police at the time that he had drove Feeden from Pennsylvania to Las Vegas in September. He also stated that he tricked her into thinking it was a simple vacation. Instead, Chapman drove her to Lincoln County. Instead, Chapman drove her to Lincoln County, Nevada, and bound her hands and feet before taking photographs of her. According to prosecutors, he put duct tape over both her mouth and nose, which resulted in her dying from asphyxiation. After returning to Pennsylvania, Chapman pretended to be feeding, using her Facebook Messenger account, home, and money, according to investigators. The sentencing for Chapman has been scheduled for August 2nd and will be facing up to life in prison. And turning now to national news, the U.S. Air Force is contracting with a company to begin making a fleet of new doomsday planes. Samantha Roberts gives us those details. On Friday, April 26, the U.S. Air Force awarded a $13 billion contract to the Sierra Nevada Corps to develop a new fleet of doomsday planes, which will retire the old E-4B doomsday planes. The E-4B was given the nickname Doomsday Plane due to its ability to survive a nuclear war. The Survivable Airborne Operations Center project will be carried out in Colorado, Nevada, and Ohio, and it's expected to be completed by the year 20. 2036. The E-4B is typically used to transport the U.S. Secretary of Defense and is designed as a mobile command post capable of withstanding nuclear blasts and EMPs, which allows the leaders to deliver orders to the military in the event of a national emergency. The E-4B is also capable of refueling midair and features conference and briefing rooms and advanced communications equipment. There are currently four E-4B aircrafts with at least one on alert at all times. The current doomsday planes are expected to end their service life in 2030. In more local news, at the recent County Commissioner District 3 debate, News 25 spoke with Heath Campbell, who's aiming to bring transparency to Pahrump. I care about Pahrump, not that anybody else doesn't, but uh, I think I would give it my best shot and uh, have the transparency that everybody seems to want and need. 
um, be on the budget and make sure that the community of Barunk is taken care of first and foremost, and the priority should be that. Whether it's water, whether it's budgets, whether it's parks and recreation, getting people here, tourism, all that stuff should play an important part in its entirety and to make Brunk the best Brunk we've got. I'm Heath Campbell and I'm running for County Commissioner District 3. Um, after the debates today, I thought it went really well. Um, a lot of the uh, things that I would strive for would be more transparency, more uh, information for the, the voters and the citizens of Pahrump. Um, we want to do a positive growth. Um, I'd be for that, um, keeping it rural, but still having the reasonable growth and making common sense approaches with any decisions, whether they're the small ones or the big ones. Um, a lot of the departments, uh, animal shelters came up and the police department. Uh, all those things we'd have to look into. We got uh, uh, department heads and that kind of stuff in the different departments in Pahrump in the county that we would get together. And if there's shortfalls or, um, again, I said transparency, but finding out where the budgets are and if they're having problems with them, see how we can fix them and come up with solutions. There's a lot more smarter people than Mayim and getting us together and brainstorming and finding out ideas that we can come up with good solutions for Pahrump and make Pahrump a better Pahrump for the future. We need to have the growth, but we need to do it smartly. So uh, I'm your guy, we're running on common sense. I don't know if, if that works anymore, but that's what I would do. So thank you for your time. Las Vegas airports being used to fly in undocumented immigrants. All that and more when News 25 returns. You're watching News 25. Local coverage you can count on. This segment of the news is brought to you by Pahrump's United Rentals. From home to job site, they have all your equipment needs. Call 775-990-4260. Welcome back to News 25. Well, recently released documents show that Las Vegas airports are being used as a port of entry for inadmissible immigrants to be flown into the U.S. to be paroled and released. On April 30th, the House Committee on Homeland Security revealed documents obtained by subpoena of the Department of Homeland Security that identified over 50 airports used by DHS to help process over 400,000 migrants into the interior of the United States through the administration's unlawful Cuban, Haitian, Nicaraguan, and Venezuelan mass parole program. The program was officially launched in January of 2023 and accounted for roughly 200 thousand migrants between January and August of 2023 alone. Las Vegas is ranked 14th in the nation used by the CHNV program as a port of entry for the inadmissible aliens with 483 aliens brought in. Miami, Florida was ranked number one with 91,821 aliens flown into their city and released on parole. According to the release documents, DHS admits that none of these individuals have a legal basis to enter the country before being paroled through the program, stating, All individuals paroled into the United States are, by definition, inadmissible, including those paroled under the CHNV processes. This program is currently still in effect under the Biden administration, also known as humanitarian parole. For more information, you can go to homeland.house.gov forward slash press. The organization Friends of Discovery Park is telling you how you too can become a friend. Hello, uh, my name is Debbie Woodland. Celeste Starr, AKA C. And we're here just to ask anyone interested that we would love some people to be part of Friends of Discovery Park. And we do have an upcoming quarterly meeting where we could use your input. We need to find out what do you want to have in the park? Would you be thinking that having maybe bricks or something for loved ones that you could come and see as you walk by or maybe plant a tree? What kind of ideas can you come up with to help make this community park great? 
And are we going to tell them the email address, how they can contact us? Oh, I think you're the one that knows that better than me. I may okay. send out the emails and I apologize. And without staring at it, I can't remember it. <laughs> you, you can contact us at friends of discovery park nv at gmail.com yeah <laughs> or you or just come june 6th it's a thursday evening at 5 30 at great basin college we'll be that's there on calvada boulevard that's on calvada boulevard yes yeah. it is everybody should know where that's at and you just walk right through the doors, make a right, you're going to pass the desk, just go straight, and that's our room. I think it's 107. 107. Yeah. And Las Vegas is a city with an abundance of lawyers and law firms that work hand-in-hand -hand with Clark County's criminal justice system. Our Las Vegas correspondent, Maria Centers, is joining us now with a very special report on personal injury attorney, Anthony Paglia. There are over 12,000 lawyers licensed to practice in the Silver State, with over 50% of them being right here in Clark County, according to the Nevada State Bar's most recent demographic survey. News 25 Las Vegas personal injury attorney and city native Anthony Paglia about his firm's growing expansion and all he does for his community with his legal expertise. Our law firm is the place to go when you've been hurt in an accident. Um, we do a great job for our clients. We wouldn't be able to have this project if we didn't do a good job. So the proof is in the pudding back here with the construction. And um, you know we're always open to um, new clients coming in, calling if they even cause an accident. Born and bred here in Las Vegas, the multicultural injury attorney is licensed in Nevada, California, and New Mexico. We do some specific things that other law firms don't do. For example, we help through the property damage uh, aspect of it. There's certain checks you can get like diminished value, loss of use, things that people don't even know about that they can get here for compensation. With over a 98 percent success rate and more than 100 million recovered, Anthony Paglia injury lawyer doesn't get paid unless the client earns a settlement. No case is too big or too small for your law firm. No, we help everybody. No case is too small, no case is too big. Um, all walks of life, you know, from the um, um, landscaper, um, Mexican immigrant, to the local businessman who's making millions of dollars. Uh, we do it all. We help every single uh, person, every walk of life, and uh, that's why we've been able to uh, have this project move forward. Reporting from Las Vegas, I'm Maria Centers with News 25 Las Vegas. And don't grab that remote. We have sports, weather, and more when News 25 returns. You're watching News 25. Local coverage you can count on. News 25 is brought to you by Mountain West Lawyer, Injury Attorneys, 727-9500. Welcome back. Well, it's going to be the first weekend of May, and may the 4th be with you this weekend. And if you don't have any plans, here's Mikey Ruhan with a weekend road trip tip for you. Looking to get away this weekend, just about three hours away in Bullhead City, Arizona. Catherine Landing, named for the Catherine Mine. Gold was discovered here in 1900, and the mine operated until 1930. This oasis, located just minutes from Bullhead City, Arizona, and Laughlin, Nevada, offers generous sunshine, sparkling blue water, and white sandy beaches. It's known as a water sports mecca. Swimming, skiing, scuba diving, boating, and fishing. Lake Mojave also offers other recreation, ancient Indian petroglyphs and other historic sites, lure hikers and off-road explorers into the surrounding mountains. Spend the day picnicking, hiking, or taking a boat out onto Lake Mojave. Extend your day a few days by staying at the campground or lodge. They also offer boat and other equipment rentals on site. Well, did you know that May is Electrical Safety Month? And in honor of that, Valley Electric Association is talking about how for them, safety runs through everything. 
This segment of News 25 is brought to you by Valley Electric and its family of companies focused on serving our members. We're better together. Safety runs through everything. May is Electrical Safety Month. Valley Electric knows that safety is the backbone of reliability. This May, during National Electrical Safety Month, we're especially committed to reminding everyone about the importance of electrical safety in your home and business. To deliver the power you need means doing things right, which includes providing resources and knowledge to keep you safe so we can continue to provide reliable energy and peace of mind because safety runs through everything we do. All right, he knocks it out the park every time. Here's Mikey Ruhan giving us the latest in sports. Time now for your News 25 look at sports and streaming at KPVM.TV and now on Roku devices. The Dallas Stars took Game 5 last night against the Golden Knights. They won 3-2. They now lead the series three games to two. Game 6 tomorrow evening from T-Mobile Arena. Speaking of the Golden Knights, the Animal Foundation named some puppies after the Golden Knights players. There's Barbashev, Carlson, and Mark Stone. All these puppies are available for adoption at the Animal Foundation. Visit AnimalFoundation.com for more info. Las Vegas Aviators swept both games in the doubleheader last night against the Reno Aces. Game 1, 2-1. Two Game 2, 9-6. Rematch this evening at 7.05. Las Vegas Aces led all WNBA teams in terms of ticket sales as of April 30th. DubHub announced in its inaugural season preview of the league. Sales have nearly tripled, up 190% for Aces tickets compared to this time last season, according to the preview. Las Vegas will host three of the top-selling WNBA games of the season, the most in the league. Pro Valley Trojans JV Baseball is at home today, taking on Boulder City. That game is in progress. Varsity Baseball is at Boulder City. That game is also in progress. And that's your look at sports on News 25. News 25 Weather Cam is brought to you by Lerner and Rowe Injury Attorney's Office in Pahrump. In a wreck, need a check? Call 702-877-1500. Let's take a look outside through our Lerner and Rowe Weather Cam at the beautiful mountains surrounding Pahrump. Not a cloud in the sky in that direction. Beautiful temperatures on the horizon for this first weekend of May. News 25 weather is brought to you by Dairy Council of Nevada. Undeniably delicious, undeniably dairy. Enjoy what's real. Hi, good evening, Nevada. I'm Mike Ruhan from the Channel 25 Weather Studios and streaming at kpvm.tv and now on Roku devices. Fernley 73 degrees, Fallon saw 75, Carson City 69, Tonopah 68, Goldfield 71, Beatty 81, Amargosa 86, Las Vegas 84, out in Death Valley that's hot, 97 degrees, but here in the Paradise of Prump, our current temperature is 83 degrees, we hit 84 just a bit ago, winds out of the south-southwest 7 miles per hour, humidity only 6%, Sun rose this morning at 5.49. It'll set this evening at 7.32. As we go to a low of 54 degrees, we're going to be under clear skies. The wind not too much, 6 miles per hour out of the east-southeast. Humidity goes up to 16%. How does that look for tomorrow? Tomorrow looks kind of nice, 85 degrees, a nice Friday. But then Saturday, 25 mile per hour winds. Sunday, 17 mile per hour, we drop into the 60s, but we rebound on Monday, 76 degrees with sunshine, 81, 81, and then 79 again, but that's not too bad. Back to the desk, here's your net. 
Well, Mikey, is the weather in trouble with us? That point was aggressive, but we like it. Again, have a wonderful weekend and may the 4th be with you. That does it for this edition of News 25. I'm Yunette Gentry and from all of us here at KPVM and Ace Country Radio, we'll see you on the air next newscast. Good night.